Hey, <clears throat> how's it going everyone and good morning. Uh, my name is Miguel Fuentes and welcome to the Kingdom Faith Outdoors channel. Uh, before I get started, I just want to say that uh, I am a little bit grieving right now. Uh, my uh, my oldest dog uh, just passed away two days ago and um, I'm just, uh, just a little bit grieving. And so, I'm just um, going to take my time on this and... Um, and yeah, and also I did made a uh, fishing video to, just to tribute my uh, my my oldest dog, and um, it just you know give God praise for what for what He has done in my life through this dog, and um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and pray, and uh, let's get into the Word. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done in my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, help us, Lord, to understand your word. Help us, Lord, to understand peace. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would comfort my heart as I go through your word. And uh, let my heart be full of hope in your love, Lord. And we thank you. We praise you, Lord. If you have sin in our hearts, Lord, Lord, we repent of our sins. And uh, we praise you, we glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So today we're going to get into Psalms 106 through 118. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. So let's start. And it's a word. Psalm 106. Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can shew forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up, so he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Then believed they his words. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness, and tempted God in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their souls. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron the saint of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and covered the company of Abiram. And a fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb, and worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. They forgot God their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land, they believed not his word, but murmured in their tents, and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them, to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations, and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague break in upon them. Then stood up Phinehas, and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed. And that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations for evermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes because they provoked his spirit, so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, 
but were mingled among the heathen, and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works, and went a-whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel, and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, and he remembered for them his covenant, and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen, to give thanks unto thy holy name, and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say, Amen. Praise ye the Lord. 107. Psalm 107. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth for ever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God and condemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break their bands in sunder. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass, and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools, because of their transgression, and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word, and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and declare his works with rejoicing. That they go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters. These see the works of the Lord, and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven, they go down again to the depths, their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro, and stagger like a drunken man, and are at their wit's end. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad, because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. He turneth the wilderness into a standing water, and dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation, and sow the fields, and plant vineyards which may yield fruits of increase. He blesseth them also, so that they are multiplied greatly, and suffereth not their cattle to decrease. Again, they are minished, and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. 
he poureth contempt upon princes, and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. Yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction, and maketh him families like a flock. The righteous shall see it, and rejoice, and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. When I... Psalm 108, a song hmm. or psalm of David. O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth that thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and answer me. God hath spoken in his holiness, I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem, and meet out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the strength of my head, Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot, over Edom will I cast out my shoe, over Philistia will I triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt not thou, O God, who has cast us off? And wilt not thou, O God, go forth with our hosts? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. 109 Psalm 109 to the chief musician, a psalm of David. Hold not thy peace, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the stranger spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before the Lord continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. Because that he remembered not to shew mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing like as with his garment, so let it come into his bowels like water, and like oil into his bones. Let it be unto him as the garment which covereth him, and for a girdle wherewith he is girded continually. Let this be the reward of mine adversaries from the Lord, and of them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O God the Lord, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good, deliver thou me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like the shadow when it declineth. I am tossed up and down as the locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh faileth of fatness. I became also a reproach unto them. When they looked upon me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. O save me according to thy mercy, that they may know that this is thy hand, that thou, Lord, hast done it. Let them curse, but bless thou. When they arise, let them be ashamed, but let thy servant rejoice. Let mine adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. 
Right, 110. Psalm 110, a psalm of David. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord hath sworn, and will not repent. Thou art a priest for ever, after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. All right. Psalm 111. Praise ye the Lord. All right. So, what we got here? Um, you know, give thanks to the Lord always, you know. Um, you know, I, 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 uh, give, uh, I give thanks to the Lord, you know, for, for having that dog, you know. I, by God's grace, you know, it's been an amazing time. Um, let the redeem of the Lord, thy mercy is great above the heavens. Um, and I see this in Isaiah chapter 55. Uh, verse 9 says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. In uh, Micah chapter 7, verses uh, 18 through 20, says, Who is a God that like unto thee? That pardon iniquity and passes by the transgression of the re of the remnant of his inheritance. He retaineth not his anger forever, because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities, and thou wilt cast all their sins unto the deep. Under, sorry, under the depths of the sea, thou wilt perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. Very, very interesting. Help me, help me, O, o Lord my God. And lastly, the beauty, the, the beauty of holiness, and I did cover cover this subject uh, last, I think, two weeks ago. And um, in Ezekiel chapter forty three, verse twelve says, "Let's see here." Put it up there. This is the law of the house. Upon the top of the mountain, the whole limit thereof round about shall be most holy. Behold, this is the law of the house. Um, Ephesians chapter 1. These in chapter one verse four says according to sorry according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter four verse seven. Says God has not called us into uncleanness, but to but unto holiness. Amen. So that that that's big, there. Um. 
Let's continue on. Psalms 111. Psalm 111. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He hath shewed his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the heathen. The works of his hands are verity and judgment. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto his people. He hath commanded his covenant forever. Holy and reverend is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. 112. Psalm 112. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man sheweth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Psalm 113. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people, maketh the barren woman to keep house, and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 14. Psalm 114. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and the little hills like lambs. What ailed thee, O thou sea, that thou fleddest, thou Jordan, that thou wast driven back? Ye mountains, that ye skipped like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble, thou earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, which turned the rock into a standing water, the flint into a fountain of waters. 115. Psalm 115. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory, for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them, so is every one that trusteth in them. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. 
O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord hath been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. Ye are blessed of the Lord which made heaven and earth. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. But the earth hath he given to the children of men. The dead praise not the Lord, neither any that go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. So what do we have here? We see that the works of the Lord are great. And we see this phrase in Jeremiah chapter 20, no sorry, chapter 32. Verses 17 through 19 says, Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arms, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Thou showest the loving kindness unto thousands and recompenseth the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great and the mighty God, the Lord of hosts, is his name. Great in counsel and mighty in work. For thy eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men. To give every one according to his way. And according to the fruit of his dying, sorry, of his doing. My fault. Very, very interesting. Uh, the wealth and riches shall be mighty upon the earth. Uh, this is a very interesting phrase that 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 the psalmist says in Proverbs chapter fifteen, verse six, says, "In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenue of the wicked is trouble." Interesting, Isaiah. Chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the sympathy, or something, no, hold on, uh, shall be the uh, sympathy of thy times, and strength of right, uh, sorry, strength of of uh, salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Interesting. Trump out the presence of the Lord. I uh, love this phrase. And we see it is in Micah chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. Hear ye now what the Lord says Arise, contend thou before the mountains, and let the hills hear thy voice. Hear, the, hear ye, O mountains, the Lord's uh, controversy, controversy, and yet strong foundation of the earth. But the Lord has a uh, a um, controversy with his people, and he will plead with Israel. Interesting. The fear of the Lord. Uh, this is a big one. And we see this throughout, script, to do, uh, throughout Scripture. Uh, Proverbs 30, verse 5, says, Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him. In the book of Acts, Chapter 10, verse 35, says, But in every nation that, uh, for, but, but in every nation he had, that feared him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. 
Amen. Let's continue on. Uh, Psalms 116. Psalm 116. I love the Lord, because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. Because he hath inclined his ear unto me, therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the pains of hell got hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous, yea, our God is merciful. The Lord preserveth the simple. I was brought low, and he helped me. Return unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord hath dealt bountifully with thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, All men are liars. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, truly, I am thy servant, I am thy servant, and the son of thine handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving, and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now, in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Right, Psalm 117. O oh, praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. For his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise ye the Lord. Mm -hmm. 118. Psalm 118. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I call upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compassed me about, yea, they compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns, for in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord help me. The Lord is my strength and song, and is become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them, and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, which hath shewed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. 
Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. All right. So that's the last chapter for today. So we see, pay my vows unto the Lord. And we see this in Matthew. Matthew chapter 5. Verse uh, 33. Says, Again ye have heard that it hath been said by them of old time. Thou hast not Forswear the uh, forswear thyself, but shall perform unto the Lord uh, thy oaths. But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne. Hmm. Maybe. It in uh, in thirty sentences, but let your communication be yea yea, nay nay, for who for who's uh, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. So, so in in, in this whole uh, section of scripture, Jesus really uh, talks about oaths, and God takes vows and oaths. Very, very, very seriously. That's why we should not be uh, given an oath unless you are one percent committed. So, um, oh, praise the Lord. Uh, we see this in the book of Revelation. Um, in Revelation chapter 5, verse. 19. Oh, is it 19? I probably made a mistake on that. Yeah, I probably made, made a mistake on that. Uh, chapter 7, verses 9 through 10 says, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nations, kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Savior to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and up unto the Lamb. Amen. The Lord is on my side. That that's that's a powerful statement. Isaiah Isaiah chapter fifty one. Verse twelve says Even I even I am that he comforteth you. Who art thou? That thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man, yeah, the son of man, which shall be made as grass. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one, therefore my prosecutors. So my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their lasting, sorry, their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. And then, lastly, for not least, uh, the Book of Hebrews. Chapter 13, verse 6. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not afraid what pe what men shall do unto me. Amen. Amen. So, we understand that through these Psalms, God is more powerful than we think. You know, we, we can't fathom how powerful God is, you know, through His creation. Even, you know, scientists are 
really discovering new uh, new uh, solar systems or star systems as they call them uh, exo uh, uh, what do you call it ex uh, exoplanets and new stars being being seen and all these things it's an honest of, of of his of his design of his his powerful work we go we, we, we cannot fathom about God's power in our lives. We need to fear God and be in awe of his wondrous works. You know, you know, I like going fit going out fishing. And I you know, today I just caught a really big uh channel catfish. I think I think it's about six pounds. But man man, I tell you, this fish can fight hard. It took me around maybe five minutes or so just to get him out of control and and reared in, you know, and just wheeled it in so that I can take a good picture of it. Uh, and also, uh, give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord even through the toughest times, even through the good times. Just thank the Lord. You know why now I'm I'm a little bit grieved because my 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 eldest dog passed away two days ago you know I feel a little bit grief but at the same time I feel really grateful that the Lord is changing our lives and give me one second here all right where are we all right sorry sorry for that uh um you know sorry, sorry for the wrong number anyway so give God the praise and glory, amen. And so, uh, you know, I give God thanks for what, you know, for for my eldest dog and how, you know, God taught me a lot of things about his creation. Uh, God should be glorified because he is God. No matter if we go ups and downs, God is still God. And so, that's all I got for today, folks. Um... Tomorrow we're just going to be focusing on Psalms 119 because not only it's it's a longest chapter, but there's a lot of nuggets that 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 really goes deep on Psalms 119. And first of all, Psalms 119 is one of my favorite chapters in the Book of Psalms. It talks about the Word of God, how how we got to marinate the Word, we got to meditate on the Word, we got to we got to. How precious is the word to you, you know? And so, it is very crucial to to spend time with God and in, in all in all His glory. So, may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time, and we're out.